On the microscope PC, check to see that the chamber view is on the monitor. If it is not, press camera on the hard panel or select the detectors tab in the SEM controls on the screen and select Signal TV. Withdraw EDS detectors if need be by pressing the top button on the detector. Check that the specimen stage is not in a position to collide with anything on opening the chamber. Return stage to tilt 0 degrees via the stage tab on the SEM control window. Check to see if the beam is on, represented by a green tick next to all. If so, click on it and select Shut Down Gun. Put a glove on and use this hand only to touch anything that is going into the chamber. For pin mounted samples, get the pin stage mount out of the cupboard. Using the circular tweezers, place your samples in the pin holes on the mount. Gently tighten the hex grub screws using the key. Do not over tighten these screws. Do not place silver paint or tape directly on the holder. Click on the VAC button and select Vent to vent the chamber. This will take a few minutes to vent. Once the chamber has vented, carefully open the door with your ungloved hand. Slide the holder onto the stage mount. The dovetail on the holder base has a flat edge and this should locate against the stop bar on the stage. Carefully close the chamber door while watching the live chamber view on the monitor to make sure the stage and specimens are not going to hit the column or EDS detectors. Pump the chamber. Please note, try to minimise the time the chamber is open to maintain a clean system and shorten pump down times. Remove gloves. There are two joysticks which control stage movement. The thin one moves the stage up and down and tilts the specimen. The larger joystick controls X and Y motion and rotates the stage. Roughly position your sample under the pole piece. Move the stage up so that the specimens are about halfway up the screen while keeping the chamber camera view on. Select the accelerating voltage and spot size appropriate for your intended imaging conditions. Smaller spot sizes around 350 to 400 will give you better resolution but less beam current. Larger spot sizes around 500 to 550 give lower resolution but more beam current. Turn on the beam after the chamber has reached working vacuum represented by a green tick next to all. Do not adjust the filament current or beam current. You may adjust the EHT target and spot size. Select the SE2 detector from the signals. Go to the lowest magnification. Set the brightness to about 50% and turn up the contrast until you can see an image. If nothing appears, you may need to move the stage slightly to bring the sample into view.
focus the image. The software will then be able to calculate the working distance displayed on the screen. Switch to chamber camera view and move the stage to a suitable working distance. Maintain a working distance between 5 to 10 millimetres. Make sure that none of your samples are higher than this. Refocus the image and adjust for stigmation at higher magnifications. Use the reduced area scan by selecting reduced on the hard panel and selecting a slower scan speed will make the focusing easier at higher magnifications. Check the gun alignment. Go to the apertures pane and click the emission button. You should see a bright region. This is the emission pattern. Use the gun align knobs on the hard panel to bring the emission pattern to the center of the screen. Alternatively, turn off field mode and use the gun shift until the image appears to be the brightest. Return to normal imaging mode and adjust the brightness and contrast again. Focus and stigmate the image at a high magnification and press the wobble button. Center the aperture manually by using the X and Y micrometers located on the microscope column. Minimize the movement as the focus wobbles. Turn off the wobbler. The aperture should be realigned after significant changes to beam energy or the opti beam mode. Select the detector you require, either SE2 for topographic or BSD for compositional imaging. Focus and stigmate the image at two to four times the magnification you want to capture the image. Adjust the brightness and contrast so that the maximum detail can be seen in the image. Go to scanning in SEM control and slow the scan speed down. Press freeze on the hard panel. An orange light will appear in the bottom right corner. When the frame capture is complete, the orange indicator in the bottom right of the screen will turn red. Use File, Save to save your image to RDS. Give the sample a name and select the sequence number. This will increase automatically with every image that is captured. Select Save. The light in the bottom right corner will turn blue, indicating that it has been successful. Subsequent images of the same sample can be saved after freezing by selecting the Save TIFF icon. Turn off the beam by clicking All in the bottom right corner and selecting Shut Down Gun. Go to Chamber Camera View. Lower the stage to a safe position, approximately mid-screen in TV mode. Wind out EDS detectors if you have used them.
Return the stage to zero tilt. Vent the chamber. Put on a glove. Once the chamber has reached air pressure, remove the specimen holder, then close and pump down the chamber.